Elon Musk's Cyber Rodeo at the brand new Giga Texas factory was a massive celebration of Tesla's past, present, and future. Elon used this opportunity in front of thousands of eager Tesla fans to acknowledge the hard work that his team has put in to get the company to this point. And then he laid out his vision for where Tesla will go in the future. Elon made it very clear that we are still in the early days of a company that will change the entire world as we know it. So when we saw Elon roll onto the stage in an original black Tesla Roadster with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg blasting over the speakers, and then he hopped out wearing a black cowboy hat and dark glasses, looking like some kind of bizarre multiverse variant of Johnny Cash, we knew this was going to be an interesting talk. So, of course the star of this whole show was the factory itself, Giga Texas. This was opening night for what Elon called the most advanced car factory that the Earth has ever seen. Bold statement for sure, but also, just look at this thing. It has the streamlined minimalism of an Apple store combined with what feels like alien robot manufacturing technology and enough floor space to fit 194 billion hamsters inside. Besides the obscure facts highlighting how big this place is, Elon reiterated the long-standing mission statement of the Gigafactory. This is the machine that builds the machine. The factory is the product. Because while prototypes require imagination and creativity, they are a relatively easy part of the process compared with production, manufacturing is the hard part. Elon said that we can think of Giga Texas like a computer chip, particularly the kind that powers your smartphone. A system on a chip an integrated circuit with everything in one package. He broke the process down into its simplest form, saying, raw materials go in one side, some stuff happens, cars come out the other side. Nobody ever claimed Elon was a great orator. Now, Giga Texas is Tesla bringing to fruition the things that they said they would do back in the fall of 2020. Front and rear castings with a structural battery pack where the cells carry the load of the vehicle. This results in a car that is lighter, with a smaller number of parts, a lower cost to build, and a higher crash safety performance. Elon says that over time, Giga Texas will be the largest battery cell manufacturing factory in the world, and that Tesla's 4680 is the most advanced cell in the world. Giga Texas also features the largest casting machines ever made, the Giga Presses. Elon says that he approached the six largest companies in the business of making casting machines and proposed his idea of making a three-piece vehicle frame. He says that five said no, and one said maybe. That one was the IDRA group, and by working together with Tesla, they made casting work efficiently to greatly simplify the manufacturing of the car, a true revolution in vehicle manufacturing. Of course, when we talk about the vehicle here, we are specifically talking about the Tesla Model Y. This is job number one for Giga Texas, bringing the Model Y to insane new heights of volume production. Elon says that Tesla is aiming to get Model Y production up to half a million units per year at Giga Texas. This would make it the highest capacity vehicle production line in the entire world. And going even further, he believes that Giga Texas will become the highest volume car factory in America. Even though Elon himself refused to give us any direct details about the new Model Y at Giga Texas, we can still piece together some information for ourselves. So we have confirmation that there is a new version of the model being made at Giga Texas. That is a standard range dual motor all wheel drive with the 4680 cells. We know this because Tesla Raj and Holmar's catalog from Twitter just hopped into one of the cars on the factory floor like they own the thing and started poking around on the display screen. So the car is named Model Y Standard Dual Motor. It has an Austin VIN number showing that it was built in that factory and they found it with 53 miles of range remaining or 19% battery charge, which would work out to a total range of about 265 miles on a full charge. We do not know if all of the Model Ys so far from Giga Texas have this spec, but we know that at least some of them do. 
We also got some interesting looks at how the new structural battery pack design is constructed at the factory. So the interior of the pack has four main rows of cells that run front to back, and there are large cooling channels in between the rows. Each row is six cells across in this particular cross section that was on display. We can also see a finished version of the pack that is ready to go into the car with the carpet seats and center console all attached. There was even a video that shows how the final assembly of the body works. It's basically like two halves coming together, a top and a bottom. The bottom is the structural pack with interior, the drivetrain, the suspension and brakes all attached. And the top is the two giga castings with the upper frame and all of the painted body panels attached. And the bottom half with the pack just gets lifted up to meet the body and bolted in. Elon Musk also spoke a bit about his vision for the future of Tesla. He didn't give away any super crazy details, but he did give us a pretty good idea of what to expect over the next couple of years. One big hint was the sheer amount of empty space that still remains at Giga Texas. Aside from the Model Y production line, the majority of the factory is just an endless void that is waiting to be filled with new machines that build new machines. Cybertruck is a big one that came up often. Elon is still very much dead set that Cybertruck production will happen next year at Giga Texas. Elon wouldn't give away any details on the vehicle, but he did say it would be Tesla's magnum opus. Cybertruck will blow our minds. We did get some really detailed close-up views of the latest Cybertruck prototype that was on display, but we can very easily see that this is nowhere close to a finished product. It's still very rough around the edges, and they even awkwardly joked about throwing a steel ball at the window again, but I guess ultimately decided not to, maybe reinforcing the idea that this is definitely not a finished product. The beta version of full self-driving will be rolling out to all paying customers in North America by the end of this year. So even if you can't manage to nail the safety score, just wait it out, the beta will come. Elon says that ultimately this software will be 10 times safer than if you were driving the car yourself, and it will be a software that changes the world, the kind of innovation that comes along very rarely. In that regard, Elon also dropped a teaser that the next new product release from Tesla will be a dedicated robo-taxi vehicle. He didn't say what it would be or when it would happen, but Elon promised that it would look quite futuristic. And then there is the Tesla bot. Elon is still optimistic that there will be production of a version one humanoid robot before the end of next year. Elon genuinely believes that this robot can change the world to an even greater degree than Tesla vehicles. It can rewrite the definition of the economy and spearhead a new age of abundance. Not to be melodramatic or anything, but that sounds pretty dope. And all of this is going to be possible thanks to Tesla scaling up their operations drastically over the course of this year. And Giga Texas is playing a starring role in that accomplishment. Elon says that Tesla is growing at the fastest pace of any large manufacturing company in the history of the world. But even so, they only account for about 1% of all cars sold worldwide. Elon says the goal long term would be to reach about 20% of the global vehicle market. So there's still a long way to go. This is why scale matters. In order to make a big difference, Tesla has to make a lot of cars. There is no other way to accomplish their goal of accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. So Tesla is going to move to a truly massive scale over the coming years, a scale of manufacturing that no company has ever achieved in human history. And that's going to be the story of the rest of 2022 and probably much of 2023, just scaling up production volume to meet demand and bring those major goals into reach. But once we scale up a significant amount, then we can get back to having some fun with a few really awesome new products. Elon also says that next year we will see a massive wave of new products. He went as far as to say that Cybertruck, the Semi, and the Roadster could all hit production in 2023. Now, I think he is 100% right about Cybertruck. I think he's probably right about the Semi, but I do find the Roadster very hard to believe. That sounds like Elon time to my ears, though at the same time, I'm not going to completely rule it out either 
because things are starting to get nuts over at Tesla and we might all have to recalibrate our expectations for what this company is actually capable of achieving. Seems like it's only going up from here. Also, just a quick shout out to everyone who came and hung out on our Discord server for the Cyber Rodeo livestream. That was a really cool first experiment for the new community, and we are hoping to do more interactive events like that in the future. So check the link in the description to join our Tesla Space Discord community and chat with some like-minded folks about all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. Good vibes only. Let us know in the comments section what you thought the biggest takeaway from the Cyber Rodeo was. I know there wasn't anything groundbreaking, but half a million Model Ys per year, new robo taxi vehicle, 2023 roads to release, still some very exciting news in there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.